In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is for students to create documents from within Classroom. So I've logged into a teacher account and I've given my students an assignment. They're actually going to work an assignment out of the textbook, but you can see in the directions I've given them some very specific directions. I want them to use the Create option to create a spreadsheet and two graphs for page for number 43 on page 41. So they're working a problem out of the book, but I want them to create a spreadsheet within Classroom to complete this assignment. So if I switch over to a teacher or a student account, here's the um, assignment from the student. They can either click on the, assign the assignment name or click open to open the assignment. And you'll notice, um, again, the directions. Use the create option. Down here under their work area, they have two options. They can either add some type of a file, and you can see that one of the options is Google Drive. So the student could go out to Google Drive, complete the assignment, and then attach it this way. But I'm going to show you why using the create option is a little bit better option for both you and the student. So if I click on create, you can see here that I can create a document, a slide, a sheet, or a drawing. Any of the Google files um, I can create right from within Classroom. This is perfect for younger students where you want to limit the number of clicks and you want to limit the number of places that they're going. If you want them to create, for example, a presentation, you can have them do it right within Classroom. They don't have to go to Drive. They don't have to open Drive. They can do it right from within Classroom. In this particular example, we're going to create a sheet and it'll take just a minute and as soon as the sheet is created you'll notice two things it's named the um, given the same name that the teacher put in the title um, is listed here as well as the student's name has been appended to the end of that so using the create option the student never needs to remember to put their name on their paper it's automatically added for them the student will then click here to open up the assignment and as soon as the student does that the teacher also has access to this assignment so if I switch back over to my teacher account, I can see that one student is not done. I'm going to go ahead and go into this assignment, and we'll be able to see here's Sue, and here is the spreadsheet that she just started. As the teacher, I now have access to the student's assignment, and I can work along with them, offering them comments and suggestions, making sure they're following the directions while they are working on the assignment. Using the Create option allows you, the teacher, to be able to work along and give feedback to your students as they are working. Back over on the student side now, the student's going to go ahead and complete this assignment. So Sue has worked out the problem as directed in the book. If we switch over to the teacher account, we can see here is Sue's work. And if I noticed a mistake, I could offer Sue a comment, um, and she would be able to see that as she's working on her assignment. So one thing that Sue needs to do, that your students need to do when they're finished with the assignment, they need to be sure to turn it in. So they're going to go back over to Classroom, and they'll see this option to turn in. Sue will click that. It's attaching one assignment, turn it in. Now, when the assignment gets turned in, students lose editing rights to that assignment until the teacher returns it to them. So if we head back over to Sue's assignment, we can see that access is denied. You no longer have permission to access this document. So the teacher now has full editing rights to this document. So we can head back over on the teacher side. And as the teacher, I can pull up Sue's assignment. I can put comments in here. And I can go ahead and make sure that it's done correctly. I can um, issue Sue a grade for this assignment. Um, we'll say she did pretty well on this assignment. And when I am ready to, I can return that assignment to Sue. You'll notice here that you have a space to write a private comment. So this comment is available to Sue only. It's just like if you would write a comment on the student's paper. Here you're just doing it digitally. And I'll say, good work. And I will go ahead and return. Once you return the assignment to the student, they then have edit rights retained to that document. So we'll go back over to Sue, and we'll take a look at Sue's assignment, and we can see here that this assignment has been graded. Here is the comment that I have, and if we look at the assignment now and we refresh this page, we'll see that Sue has now retained full edit rights to the document because the teacher has returned it. So using the Create option within an assignment in Google Classroom allows the student to stay within Classroom to complete all of their assignments.